Hello everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to flash or factory reset a uh, Zyso GS2210. Uh, I think this will work with uh, many other uh, series also that is Zyso. Uh, I'm using a serial console cable connected to my MacBook and currently uh, this is the instruction that I'm following. I just Google how to factory reset GS2210 via serial, um, and we are gonna go through this step together. I've gone through this step once already and got it successfully done. So I'm just going to show it to you, uh, demonstrate it to you one more time, step by step. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is unplug or power cycle the switch. So the switch is off right now. I'm gonna plug it back in. By the way, this is gonna take about five minutes or so. All right. And uh, in the meantime, you may also want to prepare the, uh, the binary file for the new firmware. And I downloaded that from Zizel uh, End of Life website. I'll put the link in the description. And here you'll see that uh, the switch is restarting and there is a prompt here to actually press any key. Make sure that you do that within one second. So I just did that quickly and uh, you'll see that you have entered debug mode. All right, so now that you are in debug mode, uh, what you wanna do is, uh, again, the instructions here, it says download the ROM file, which I already did. Uh, it comes in a zip file and then you have to extract it and the only thing the only file that I'm interested in is the dot rom file all right I'll show you that later I have established the serial connection uh, using the USB cable I'm using um, you can use any terminal software I'm using secure WR, uh, secure CRT um, because I'm using a Mac and uh, set the terminal speed to 9600 and everything else default. Uh, what I mean by default is, I'll show you what my connection looks like. Let me see a session option. Okay, terminal. Okay. <clears throat> well, it's, it's 9600 8 and 1. 8-bit, none, 1. Okay, so that's pretty standard. I didn't change any settings. All right, so let's go back to um, the instruction here. I've entered debug mode by pressing any key, and then now I want to start the X modem upload by typing ATLC. Um, okay, and then upload the, the file, and then the reboot and finalize. Okay, I'm trying to remember. I think there's a different command for uh, uploading and then uh, when, when you don't want to do a factory reset, but I think ATLC would actually do a factory reset altogether. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a try. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my console and I'm gonna type in ATLC. Okay, starting. X modem upload. All right, so once this has started like this, what you wanna do is go to your software. You're gonna to go to the transfer part and you're going to send via X modem, matching the protocol right there. And I have downloaded it. So it is in my download directory. Uh, it was from a couple days ago. So I'm just gonna search it using date. It's inside this directory and like I said again I'm only interested in the dot rom file okay and it should say uh, starting the transfer so I'm going pretty slow um, it's 9600 you could increase the speed before you start the transfer but I just don't really care so I'm just going to um, wait for it We have um, only about 30 seconds left on the transfer. And after we finish transferring, we can just uh, do a reboot. 
with the command ATGO. Um, again, like I said before, I decided to just wait it out, transferring this all at 9600 baht, which is extremely long, like 10 minutes. You could have changed it to um, higher speed and just make sure you synchronize it together, make sure it's working. Uh, but after this is done, uh, you should get an okay confirmation just like that. And then like I said, next thing you're gonna do is type in ATGO to reboot. Okay, and uh, it should be restarting. And once it's restart, it's actually going to take quite a bit because it's gonna regenerate a lot of uh, security keys, certificate, etc. cetera, uh, before it starts working. All right, so now it's rebooting. It should be showing some statuses here very soon. There you go, it's coming back. And like I said, it's going to spend quite a bit of time generating SSL, configuration file, certificate, encryption keys, etc., etc. So I would say about five minutes. Okay, it's still going. Um, looks like default IP setting. Probably looking for DHCP, I'm not sure. Let me see if I can plug in. Um, an actual DACP for this. Okay. All right, looks like that satisfied that issue. And now it's ready. So the default password, username and password is admin and the password is one, two, three, four. And we're in. So I was correct, ATLC was the command to actually flash a new firmware and then do a factory reset. There you go, folks, everything is done. Uh, we have a brand new firmware, latest up to date for the GS2210 HP. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, please leave it in the comment below. If I did something wrong, please let me know. And uh, Hopefully you guys have a good day. Thanks. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.